Hey everybody, welcome back to Tyson Center Gamer. I'm Tyson and I'm going to be playing some more Vampire Survivors, but this time it's on Xbox Game Pass and I have Xbox Game Pass. So I played this quite a bit on Steam, not in a while. I wanted to get another video in and so let's start as soon as this goes. Let's, let's have a good time. How y'all doing? Hey, it's the music. Oh yeah. Classic. Okay, let's go. Looks exactly like the Steam version, except uh, there's got to be some differences. But um, So this is how this works. We start the game, and then it's not a battler. For those of you who still haven't heard of this game, um, it's pretty easy to play. You just move a stick around, and your attacks go in whatever direction you're facing, usually, at first. And not always. So. Uh, you start off says, oh, look, there's four characters, but you can only play one. And this one's got a whip. Gains 10% more damage every 10 levels. Ooh, maximum 50%. Okay, fine. Let's do that. We got no money. We need to get some money. And start. Ooh, even a little bit of glitching. I am streaming this. Okay. And you can see the meter at the top filling up. And Let's see if we can avoid the bats while I go get these gems. There we go. Okay, already I need to, to level up the whip. I'm going to go for some... There are things that I want to get to. Um, probably Pichon, I think it is. Let's get that whip upgraded, and then I'll go for something like Pichon or Garlic, or I don't know, even if I've unlocked Garlic yet. already better. So now I can... do what I'm doing. I hope you don't mind that I don't talk a lot during these rounds. I'm going to actually try not to, to talk too much. Because there's nobody to talk to. Now, this is something I would 100% do as a live stream. And see, now here I'm just talking. So, but I'll just try to keep to a minimum, not try not to be like, mm, ah, ooh, ee, ah. Or who knows, maybe I will. Okay, so we need... We should probably have something that goes around me, but I also like the firing at the nearest enemy, so let's go for projectile. This stage we need, like, to be pretty aggressive, I think. So, because we need upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. But, like, as soon as I can get... I definitely want to try the bird out. So I don't know that I've made much use of it, but I would like to level it up to, uh, to however... Oops. Good, I got some floor chicken. I don't even remember if I took damage or not. Probably look back at the footage and be like, ugh. Okay, ooh, well, let's upgrade that magic wand. Or wait, raises inflicted damage by 10%. Let's raise our damage. Let's Popeye this up and then go for the other ones. So I'm definitely going to be needing to do damage when it gets to the bigger enemies that I know are coming. Cloud of bats. Open. And the music. Okay, is that more wand upgrade? Nice. And money. Okay, cool. Yes. And I've leveled up again. Alright. Shields from damage when active. Let's get some shielding going on. Or chicken. Mm. Speaking of chicken, I will say 
Uh, I don't know if you have this at your local Dollar Tree, but at ours, there are these... They call them patties, but they're like baked mm -hmm, chopped meat pies, I think. And there's a, uh, a jerk chicken, Jamaican style version. Right now, Dollar Tree's buck twenty-five tree. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Cool down the fifteen seconds. Shields of Roman increases. I want to increase. I want to just get more damage going outward. I feel like outward damage is going to be important at this point, at this stage of the game. Anyway, they're quite good. I'd like to apologize right now for the quality of the uh, the screen in spots. I am streaming this. So I don't usually have that much of an issue streaming from the uh, from the Xbox, but tonight looks like I am. Oh well. So tonight. Uh, pretty productive. I actually upgraded or uploaded the second. Okay, let's see. Base damage for the whip up or magic wand? That is the question. I feel like we should probably get the whip up or fire one. Let's, let's, let's get more magic wand. Let's get, let's get those projectiles. Ooh, it's already level four. No, let's get our whip up so they're each level four. If you stand in one place too long, you'll get swarmed. Here come the ghosts. Okay. Anyway, let's increase that laurel. So I updated, up, uploaded uh, the second episode of our October special. This one, November, our November October special, 2022. Uh, looking at AI art, previous episode where it was Halloween themed, and also the uh, looking at interesting versions of Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and. Uh, Michael Myers from the Halloween film franchise and other stuff. Mostly that, though. Upgrade the whip. And this new one has uh, lots of different art uh, inspired by Cthulhu. There's a uh, the AI got really, really creative, I think, when just trying to figure out what it wanted to give me uh, from Cthulhu. Uh, there's also a great deal of uh, interesting, bizarre mani uh, Wizard of Oz art. And not just like any Wizard of Oz, but sp specifically the 1939. You know, this might just be the way I update people. It's like, if I want to give announcements about stuff I've recently published, I should just do it in one of these videos and hope people see it. All right, good. Got a magic wand upgrade, a laurel upgrade, and a spinach. Oh, great. And there's like another chest near me also. Looks like there's emeralds on either side. Like, right, there's one, and then like over that way. You can see it on the other side. All right, but I think I got a chest to get to. So let's do this. Oh, good. But I was close enough to it that I thought I'd have to like run to it. Okay, got some money and one boon. Up to 541 uh, in-game monies. Oh. oh, almost to 700. Okay, and a more laurel goodie. So we are. Oh, and we leveled up. All right, let's upgrade the spinach. So I haven't really done that much practicing of this game. Um, I have my original episode where I played it on Steam, and then I have just I have some footage of myself playing it, but I'm not in the videos and I'm not talking. I just wanted to record the rounds to get the footage. I might just release those, just the raw footage, and uh, you know, 
maybe if people need footage for, you know, examples of things, I could make that available to other creators. I don't know. If, it, if it's useful. Okay, let's see. So let's see. Armor reduces incoming damage by one, increases retali re retaliatory damage. Oh, that sounds good. Let's do that. Alright. Yeah, you still can't really spend in one place for too long. You know, I don't need that chicken right now. Could use some experience, though. So let's see, where have I... Bin. Oh, there's a lot of braziers there. And this is just one stick, for those of you who don't know what you're looking at. I am not actually controlling my attacks. I am upgrading them, but I'm not directing them. In the classic sense. Like, I'm not certainly not triggering them. They are self-triggering, and then it's just a matter of... for me to... not get caught in the cloud of enemies. And learn, basically, the rhythms of... Um, How these things, it's how I attack, and also how, uh, mostly how these things attack. See right there? I just, I probably should have taken more damage than that, but. On whose side am I on, huh? Okay, reduces incoming damage by one. Now I could use a floor chicken, but it's all the way up there, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that. Um, okay, generates damaging zones. Should probably just increase the armor. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, we need to get out in the open. We need a floor chicken. Okay, that's cool. Can I walk into these things? You know, I never really wanted to... to experiment with that. You know, if I could just walk right through them when they're frozen like that, or if, I, if it's just that they're held in place. Floor chicken! Anybody know? Say so in the comments. By the way, if you're still watching this, please go to www.tysonstander.com to find links. He gave me out to my comfort zone, which is a show that my wife put together on her channel, Sexy Over 27 Games. It's also a separate attached to the company Soundcast Soundcast, which I am a co-host of. It is a podcast that features clips from other people's podcasts to, you know, get them out there and uh, for people who don't necessarily listen to podcasts and uh, would like to know where to st or would like to know where to start. I'm not explaining it that well, but we've been doing it. The show has been going for about 11 years. I've been doing it for about eight of those. And um, it's a good time. Then there's uh, so Antisocial Show, which, you know, eh, um, we are we've been doing these special episodes just to get some uh, more content out of it at a quicker rate because I've got like a backlog of video episodes and audio episodes from the original show. Uh, so are you playing video games, you might ask? Well, it's, uh, I also make video gamer content, and if I don't keep putting out content, um, the channel's views dip. That's how that works. So there's been kind of this tight rope, rope going on. And aside from uh, occasionally playing a few minutes of Slime Rancher for my son, who also, by the way, plays Slime Rancher now, and has a really great time doing it. Aside from that, whenever you see me on these videos, is when I am gaming. Which is, uh, I think, you know, probably as it should be, but that's, you know, that's it. All base damage up by 10% or a King Bible going around me. Or, I feel like armor, probably. Okay, now we need to start moving out into the open to avoid the big clouds of bats. Or avoid being pushed into the closer enemies by avoiding the big clouds of bats. Oh no, okay. Well, you know, I can just go out here because I've been upgraded, so I don't have to get trapped in your little game there, mister. 
Can I? Oh, look, but there's another one of you. So how much damage do you take? And also, I, how long can I do that? Probably not that long. Also, I haven't picked up much uh, experience in a while, or certainly not clusters of it. And I also don't know that I've been making enough uh, experience drops to even warrant looking for them. Oh gosh, what is that? Is a weird looking mat. I mean, it's got a thicker outline. I don't know how to disc to really describe it. I don't want to like design shame it, but okay, no, this is what I mean. Let's go, Kalbunga. Oh crap! Okay. Oh, uh, 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 four chicken. Wait, closes in fast. Oh no, one of you. Oh, I'm so close to being just gonzo. I think, I think I'm done for, folks. I don't have anywhere to go. It's just a cluster and I've got like no health left. We got, but hey, let's do it. And I immediately, immediately melted. All right, quick. So let's see. I mean, that's a pretty good round, don't you think? All right. Well, thank you for watching. Be decent to each other. I will see you the next time I do this. Bye-bye.